My name is Richard Miles and I'm the founder and president of Miles of Freedom. Miles of Freedom has been in existence since 2012. Our mission is to equip, empower, and employ individuals returning home from prison and to provide support and services for the families and communities left behind. I feel I really had no choice. I was wrongfully incarcerated at the age of 19. I was given a total of 60 years in the Department of Corrections. I did 15 years total. I experienced the lack of rehabilitative resources in prison the lack of continuing education, the lack of family connections. When my, when my dad passed six months before I got out, I cried on the shoulders of men, drug dealers and murderers. These were the men that taught me how to be a man in an environment that I had no knowledge of. When I got out of prison, I was given the task of how can I better help them? Do I write them a letter? Do I send them money? Or do we try to create an organization that could not only help them, but help their families and the communities that they were returning home to. Miles of Freedom was a no-brainer. For those who are trying to live life with more guts and courage, you have to believe that you're a winner before you go into the fight. You have to believe that even if you're hit, you're not knocked down. And even if you're knocked down, you're not knocked out. And as long as you have the consciousness of who you are, you have the strength to become who you're meant to be. So it's not about what a person says to you or what a person can do to you. It's about what do you feel that you can do about yourself and for your environment and for your people around you. After my release, I'm inspired to face each day with soul whenever we can help somebody. To get up in the morning, and to know that I am going into the office and it's a possibility that someone is going to come through that need employment. It's a possibility that someone is going to come through that wants to visit their loved one. It's a possibility that someone needs us to be of assistance in any capacity. When we're able to help someone, that makes me feel better about what we're doing because at the end of the day, we're giving back. And I believe that each person was created to give back, if not to society, to the person that's next to them, if not to them, then to their family and their environment. So each day we get up and we're able to give back, that makes me feel better inside my soul, and I'm hoping that we're changing other people's souls as well. I would say playing is important to leading a successful life because you have to have a balance. You, you have to, um, have the crying to enjoy the, the laughter. You have to have the pain to enjoy the pleasure. I believe that a person that's truly successful without being happy isn't truly successful. I believe that a person that's happy and not successful is caught up in their own world. But it has to be a balance in living out what you're supposed to do in some capacity and enjoying what you do so you'll be a better asset to the people that you're working with. I want to thank all of our sponsors throughout the years, and I want you guys to know that all things are possible, man. I'm a blessing of God. I oftentimes say that at the age of 19, all I had was 60 years in a bunk, and now God has blessed me to be a part of an organization that's growing. This is our fourth year. I hope you can support Miles of Freedom, and not just us, any initiative that's working towards a better common goal and good.